nursery i hope you're all well last week we were looking at the story what makes me a me and in the story the little boy he visited many many places and one of the places that he visited was the woods and he enjoyed looking at the trees and how the branches moved in the wind and he said the branches reminded him of his arms moving them up and down. So I thought today we could make a stick person. Now I've been into my garden and I've collected quite a few twigs and sticks and I thought we'll have a go. So I've got some string because I'm not sure how I'm going to connect all these twigs or leaves together. And I've got sellotape. Sellotape is really good for sticking things together. So for my stick person, I need a body. So let's see, I could use that as a body. And on the body, I then need to have two arms. So let's have a look. What could I use for two arms? Now I've got some scissors. If you're going to use scissors, make sure that the adult that's with you helps you because scissors can be very sharp. So I'm going to cut two little branches to make arms. Let's see. Oh, I might go for them. Oh, gosh, that was hard. So on my stick, my big stick, I've got two arms now. I think I'm going to use sellotape to try to connect my sticks. If you haven't got sellotape, you could just put your sticks down on a flat surface and you could create your body on the flat surface. You can never find the end of sellotape. It's very, very tricky. So I'm going to try to sellotape these arms onto my stick body. Oh, there we go. Oh, Mrs. Brian, you're doing very well. I hope you can do better than Mrs. Brian. There we go. I'll use the scissors to cut the sellotape. So I've now got two arms. They don't have to be the same. One could be bigger, one could be smaller. And then on my body, oh, we've got the dog that's come to join us. I hope she doesn't take my stick person. I've got to add two legs. So I need to find two more sticks for use for legs. Let's see what we can have. Oh, there's one. No, this is my stick. No, not for you. This is for me. I'm going to put my sticks at the bottom of my stick person. And again, I'm going to use sellotape, but you could just lay them on a flat surface. Let me see. Oh, it's not very good at this. Oh dear. Don't think my, my stick man would stand up outside in the wind. I think the wind would blow all these sticks away. There's one leg, two legs. Oh dear. Turn my body round so that my arms and my legs Oh gosh. Okay. Another go. Doesn't matter how much sellotape you use. I think I'm going to use a whole roll doing this. Oh, now look. My stick man has got two legs, a long body, and two arms. What do you think's missing? My head. So I'm going to take a piece of paper and cut a piece of paper and I'm going to draw my head. So I've got some pens. Well, I've got felt tip pens. So the shape of my head is a circle. I'm going to draw a circle. Hmm, what else do I need to do on my head? Now, I've 
brought a little mirror so I can have a look just to help. Oh, I've got two eyes and my eyes are green. So I'll give myself two eyes. I've got one nose. And I've got red lips. Let's see. Oh, there's something else that I'm missing. What about hair? Ooh. Put some hair on. You might think of something else that you can put on. Oh, I've got my glasses. I could draw my glasses on. Put some glasses on. If you've got a clip in your hair, you could draw the clip. Then I'm going to cut out the head. Again, I'm going to use scissors. You might need to ask the adult that's with you to help you with the scissors because cutting out can be very, very tricky. Carefully cut them out. Oh, she's been a very good dog sitting there. Very good. You might want to do a stick, a stick, um, Instead of a stick person, you could do a stick animal. You can decide. And then I'm going to stick my head at the top of my stick person. Again, I'm going to use sellotape. You'll take much more careful time and a lot more. Oh, gosh, Mrs. Brian, get your words right. You can be a lot more careful when you're creating your stick person. But there's mine and that's me. I might put that in the garden, but you can have a go. Don't worry if you can't find any twigs or leaves. I've got a few leaves so you could actually make a stick person. Just line all the leaves on the table or on the floor. You might want to just use your crayons, felt tip pens and draw a stick person on a piece of paper. Have a go, send in your photographs. I'm loving your photographs that you're sending in. Keep up the good learning. Stay safe. Bye.